Recent, so here we have recent blood tests, Harley Johnstone, anything whited out is just personal information, don't want to stalk, there's not too much about me. And uh, for fasting glucose, 4.8. So we should be having a uh, less than 5.5, means diabetes is unlikely. So Macola says that I should have diabetes after, you know, a few weeks of eating fruit. Well, after 12 years, high carb, low fat, vegan, mostly fruit, no diabetes. Macola, you're full of shit. B12447, which is for me a low value, even though it was within range. I like to have it, as you can see, that's with supplementation, 1476, and that's with no supplementation. So without supplementation, I'm still in the range, but with supplementation, that's what I prefer, higher. So that's requested uh, five months, no B12 supplementation, 447. Still very, very high. Testosterone, and range is 1028. So we're in 20.5, so we're in the high end of the average. So, no testosterone supplementation, unlike, uh, I won't mention any names, but a lot of those paleoprimal guys on the testosterone injections. Steroids, iron, always fantastic. Ferritin, nice healthy stores there. Now, you don't want it over 400 because that can uh, indicate hematomacrosis. Too much iron isn't a good thing, so you want to be in the middle range is, is good for iron. Now, I do not supplement iron either. Anything I supplement is a B12, but I haven't for the last few months. Total cholesterol, always good. Triglycerides, that's an interesting one, 0.5. So very, very low for triglycerides. Now remember, this was this is done in December 2012, all these tests. So this was two months prior to that. I was consuming you know, up to four kilograms of refined sugar per week, including all my fruits. So I was really trying to spike my triglycerides to see if refined sugars spike triglycerides, the answer is no. What spikes triglycerides is fat in your diet. If you are fasting, burning body fat, or if you're eating a lot of animal triglycerides. Otherwise, you're gonna have very healthy, low triglycerides. LDL, HDL, 1.8 for HDL. So HDLs are helpful, it's a high density lipoprotein cholesterol. Very healthy ranges. Textbooked, stunning cholesterol ranges. Glycated hemoglobin, See, 20th, 12 December, glycated hemoglobin, hemoglobin A1C, 5.3. Macola, again, is a liar, saying that if you eat fruit more than a few weeks, you'll get diabetes. Well, Macola, how do you explain that? <laughs> Advanced glycation end products are most commonly found in animal products. Hemoglobin, 158, very high, so no anemia here, very high. That's what you want to have as a good cyclist. PCV, pack cell volume, aka hematocrit, 48. That's almost uh, getting me banned, that one. So everything's fantastic. White blood cell count, immune system, just functionally very healthy, very strong. And the last one, we have sodium. All the electrolytes here. Now, you know I follow a low sodium diet, so sodium's all very healthy, 143. If high, if anything, 4.4 for potassium. Whoa, 70 bananas a day. Whoa, hyperkalemia. I don't think so. Healthy kidneys. Now, what's low here is urea. You want urea very low. You don't want gout and all the cardiovascular disease associated with consuming high-protein diets. So urea, nice and low. Uric acid, funnily enough, McCola and all those snake oil salespeople like uh, Sisson and that say uric acid will be very high if you're eating a lot of fruit. Well, the last 12 years, I can say I've eaten probably more fruit than anyone in the world. Definitely up there. Uric acid, 0.17. And the range is 0.2 to 0.5, so I'm under the range. I'm deficient in uric acid production, <laughs> meaning very, very healthy. This is one thing you would definitely want low. Uric acid. Acid. You want, you want your acid levels low. You don't want to be acidic. All the animal protein. Uric acid isn't found in plant foods, it's only found in animal products. The only way to spike uric acid is consume animal products or if you're losing a lot of weight, you can uh, get rid of all that uric acid in your joints and stuff and it will be released in your bloodstream, you spike your levels up. But me, healthy vegan, high carb for the win, lots of sugar, fantastic. So everything's all great, total protein, everything's fantastic. So, all the healthy ranges need to be healthy. Liver enzymes, AST, ALT, ALP, GCT. Everything's fantastic. Healthy liver, healthy kidneys. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's such fucking bullshit, Duno. You know what? You're a know, fucking wanker, Duno. You know. Those tests are fake, mate. That's not legit. Anyone can fucking just 
get your mate, oh, get your mate, your old cousin Steve to fucking print that out, mate, in year three. That's bullshit doing all the. You, you, nah, it's fucking bullshit. I, I know it's bullshit because I say it, so. Look at that, mate. That's not. You say that's a ripe banana, mate? That's a fucking rotten banana, you idiot. Look at this. Look at it. It's bloody rotten, you moron. Only an idiot and a fucking wanker. That's what you are, mate. You're not an idiot. You're a fucking bloody wanker. You're a fifth level fucking bloody wanker doing order. Every morning I get up, I get on 30 bananas those socks and I have a beat. I beat off to it because I love the shit on there, mate. And you know what? They're fucking right. You're nothing but a fucking wanker. A bloody fucking wanker.